die, I leave them laying around and forget that they're dead, and they end up getting thrown back in. So maybe that's what's going on. Try another one. Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> Never mind. I'm so dumb. Does anybody? Can anybody see what it is? Here, I'll, I'll hook it back up. I'll hook it back up. Take a look at the difference between the two. I'll take that out too. So they're. Oh, you see what the I did? Wrong? Yeah, power. Yeah, power. <laughs> the wrong way. I get. I do that all the time. It's because I'm used to the, a lot of chips have power. And, uh, so um, yeah, we ought to have. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to our original thing. Sorry about that. Mom learning moment. Okay, uh, there's our oscillator. Let's make it really loud and nasty. Great, and now we should be able... Oh, and then I need to get the input from the contact mic. And uh, ground and... Perfect. Now, so just to demonstrate, I'm going to try to just isolate these a little bit. So there's our spring reverb, so watch. So obviously it would sound cooler if we, uh, there's, there's that circuit going into oscillation, probably. If I, I bet that would go away if I, I not that better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see it kinda of, well, it didn't really but cool. But anyway, you get the idea. There's like a <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to show you the tail of the reverb. Because it's such a lean sound it's into Stuff too. Yeah. Probably, um, wow. So if I get it close, you know, I could create some interesting feedback. Maybe. It's actually behaving, which is very interesting. Wow, I can't believe it's not feeling bad. Oh well. But that's it. So I, we just built two amps. Just um, let's make this one really nasty too. <laughs> you can also just like, you know. Ah. Uh, 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 I'd have to like isolate it more, but anyway, that's your, that's, that's, that's spring reverb. Um, and if you want, um, cause this, this stuff is all in the lab here. Um, so I'm going to take this home, but, um, I'll, I can just leave this out because I know you want to mess. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> just keep in mind, like, you know, this, let's hook this up for a second. If you want to get into like doing some circuit bending, it's a circuit. Circuits like these. Oops. Sorry, I need to. Circuits like these are pretty easy to circuit bend because, you know, if you just like, if we just hook up another oscillator um, on the other side or something like. Um, let's try something that is in that not in the audible range. So here's a microfarad. No, well, that's probably too big. Here's a. Well, that might do it. One microfarad. So if I hook this up, I'm gonna. So I've got this pair here. I'm gonna skip this pair and go to this pair. Um, so here's. I'm just gonna make another oscillator and use it to modulate the other one. And it doesn't do what you would expect necessarily. 
Okay, so we won't hear anything now. If I, let me just show you, if I, if I go between these two, like that's that one, and that's that one. So that's a really low one. It's like almost too low, almost clicks. So if I take the output of this one, now this is not the, really the type of chip for this. There's another type of chip over there, the 4093, that actually has it's like the has the invert has both the inverting and the non-inverting input, and you can either either send power to one of them or another oscillator, and that you can actually like really modulate. But you can kind of get away with it with these chips too. If you just take the output of one pair and plug it into the output of the other pair, oh, it's, no, it didn't work. Oh, I might have to. Oh wait, no. This is what I not not that. Uh, um, you do it through a capacitor. That's the key. Let's see if it works. It's kind of working. There we go. There's a, there's something. So we're getting something kind of interesting going on. Let me place. This one with this one. So see what I'm doing now? Now I'm just playing. So I've totally changed the, the way this sounds now. And I can just use my fingers to do this. Or I could take various points of this. So this is how I experiment with circuit dimming with these. You just take a bunch of wires. And just put them in random places in the circuit, just like you would, you know, circuit bin anything. So there, I've got a nice little circuit bin point. If I solder some dimes onto each one of those, I've got something I can play. And I could take this one, and sometimes it, like, if you just plug it into one that's not being used, it'll do weird things. Because it turns, it, like, creates this. Or they, they need to just, like, start doing weird things, like, you know, plugging things into the wrong places. I'm just trying, looking for. Yeah, if I want to be higher, I mean, I could probably replace this with. One of these guys. So that's why when people ask me what the dimes do on my instruments, I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> it just, like, just does that. <laughs> It's pretty cool though. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's. Um, I'll leave this here and, and mess with it. Um, so 